combine uh, Elvara House of Horror is Red Rat Fist. And since I have two of these machines, we will start with one, this one machine have the play fit very, very damaged. We are thinking to do it something different. Mainly the, the project of uh, I'm an owner of the pinball, this guy and other guy make the project. Mm -hmm. Other guy, he make the most job because he's scanning the play feed and working on the, the original play feed. But after the, uh, we move from he scanning the play feed and we move in red in black and white. Yeah. After red and black, we put m some color on the play feed. But right. like yeah, yeah. The, the idea was to do uh, like the Blood Kiss edition. So not completely black and white, but with uh, green and red accent, like Elvira logo. So this is a picture, it's a, a painting, it's a painting friend, of, uh, friend uh, of Ivan, uh, Ivan, you can call it uh, Ivan. So what we begin with is uh, uh, eventually, yeah, uh, play feed. Uh, um, the worse it is, the better for us, <laughs> because we have to, to do it again from, the, from start to finish. So this is already in pieces, we disassemble it, okay? So yeah, okay. There's um, the first thing we did was to scan, of course, digitally scan the, the play field. We already had the the graphic. So the next step was to uh, yeah, it's hard to see to watch, but <laughs> it's to completely send down to Bearwood, of course, the the original play field. So remove uh, everything. Yeah, it's uh, it's really hard to to watch, but that's how we do it. <laughs> Take example. We don't yeah. use. Overlay, but this is not no. Simple. This is a a print, uh, uh, a try print to test fit it uh, with the original colors, of course. Yeah, and so you, yeah, I, I show it. Okay, okay. So this was the first uh, idea, but it doesn't didn't look that good. Too much green. Uh, we, we we tried also to do it completely black and white, and we didn't like it. So uh, it's a, a long process. So uh, this is the first try. So not so not so good. And then we did uh, the idea of uh, gray, red, and uh, and the green from Elvira. So these are uh, accents, and this is a good uh, stage. You can see where uh, it shouldn't print uh, or other stuff. So these fine details, of course, because the playfield was scanned at 800 DPI. So you can uh, pixel by pixel you can modify it. So it's uh, it's nice. This is uh, Ivan and Andrea did the come, and we discussed a lot <laughs> in front of the computer because one have an idea, the other one has another idea. I have a third idea, but after all, it's it's nice, so it's always fun to to do together the stuff. So this was the the final station, the, the final design. We try to work okay. on the yeah. very few like. Uh, the shoes, the behind of the shoe, or the taco, come si dice? Yeah, the, the heel, the, the heel. yeah, uh, the underside of the shoe with the red, like the uh, expensive shoes. <laughs> okay, so this is French the first expensive uh, shoe. Yeah, this is the first uh, print on paper, so to 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 look what how it looked like. We didn't do the print on uh, on plastic because we know the dimension was right. So, but uh, if if it's the first time, you have to do a plastic so you can match it up and it. Sometimes it's perfect the first time, sometimes it's not. It's because even when you scan it, there could be a little difference. And also from playfield to playfield, there could be some difference. And normally we cannot scan it. We have no big scanning can, yeah. can one time. Yeah, we do piece by piece. And, need to yeah. and then with Photoshop, we can uh, match it together. Yeah, yes. match it together, yeah, of course. Okay, this is the playfield on the printing machine. So we uh, painted uh, the, yeah, before the, 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 the actual print. Uh, we paint uh, uh, all the slots and all the holes, so it doesn't show the, the wood, because uh, I don't like it. If you saw wood, uh, we want it black and white completely, so you first have... Ah, yeah, you have also to clear coat the wood, so... Before uh, yeah. printing. You, so it, it's, it absorbs in the fiber, and uh, you have uh, a smooth uh, surface. So this is the printer, uh, midway, uh, the step, uh, so it prints first... Uh, uh, I think three or four white um, layers, and then uh, all the other colors together. Yeah, mm. it takes a while, but it's a nice process to to watch too. Expensive printing machine, not ours, of mm. course, but we have uh, good people that does this. And this was the printed version. It was amazing. If you see in person, it was like wow. After all that work, it was really really nice. And the color 
in, in picture or not, but you can see it pops really, really nice. So this is the cabinet. So we, we don't use new cabinets unless it's really destroyed. Like it happened on the, the Ivan had a big, uh, the yeah, city we had a big flood. Uh, he lost like 20, 30 machines and cabinets, they swallow up. They, they, you have to throw it away. This was a good cabinet. Perfect for us, yeah? Yes. Because uh, we can uh, fix it. We can, uh, if there's a problem, we can uh, repair it. New bottom if needed. Normally we prefer to use uh, Yeah, original stuff. Because also the, the smell of the original timber is important for <laughs> me. So it's it's really nice. It's different. It's, it's right. So these are primed. So per, they, they get primed and uh, to remove all the perfection. I don't have the, the painting star stage, but it's, uh, of course, industrial painting. Yes. Is, uh, the professional painting. Yeah, it's a car painting. Like, so, yeah. like a car that's yeah. been placed by. Car industry. This is the finished cabinet. A really nice bottom. Uh, Perfect, <laughs> as we like it. We no. Yeah. Any more questions about that? No, we normally we change the bottom part. Yeah. Yes. For us, it's difficult. We in it in the euro we cannot find the hinge. So yeah. normally it's cer it's like a certain millimeter. We use fourteen. Yeah, it will be different uh, thickness. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Here is the application of the decals. Uh, a friend of uh, ours did this. Amazing, because they're almost like rat car, so plastic but thinner. They look really amazing. You can yes. see that in person, like shiny and really, really beautiful. Uh, the holes of the screws were recessed, so you don't see the screws from the outside. Because if you tighten them, they would look a bit different. So it's done like that. Yes, this is Andrea and Ale Alex. Uh, they, yeah. They're they not here, but they're really good guys. This is the process. OK, this is uh, uh, this is what I do. Cause <laughs> I, I like to do yeah, it. Yeah, I, I have a full time job, so I try to help as much as I can. So uh, I do the, the small stuff or stuff <laughs> that no one else wants to do, so I do it. Yeah, this is the the ball guides. Yeah, uh, of course they they all look bad, and I don't like it. So uh, they look need to look perfect. Yes. So it's it's not that difficult, but it takes time. So this is uh, the original one. This is the first step. So you get a semi finish, and then the third step with the uh, finishing and it gets like perfect. You. And then there's also a, diff, uh, a final step for hand. Well, by hand. By but hand. Yeah, yes. like this. So this before and after, so they look perfect. I can also do uh, full mirror polish, but it takes a lot of time because you have to remove all the setting finish. And sometimes it's really deep, so you have to to be really aggressive with it. But in my Twilight Zone, I did everything uh, mirror polish and looks amazing. like. <laughs> Like and uh, uh, m most like a bumper post, you cannot see, but not we don't have a picture. But mm -hmm. whole bumper post, the skirt for the bumper is new. It's like new. We have beautiful company. They can make uh, nickel again, like new, better than new. We do nickel. And all so the machine, the part, the metal part, is new galvanic process. The screw. Mm -hmm. the, this machine, 90, 95 percent is original machine. Yeah, but. But new, you know. Just like new. <laughs> you can yeah, everything. Below, yeah. You can uh, every screw was uh, mounted. Every screw was uh, refined. If you have question, please uh, ask. Uh, no problem. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go forward. Yes. This uh, other friend of us did uh, like the shooter. We asked the custom. shooter with the custom shooter because yeah. we use a part of custom the colors. Everything play. custom, of course. This we we, we did also for the other pinball. We have uh, in total six uh, six, six, six pinball machines mm -hmm. uh, in, in the, the hall. You can play. All, of course, high-end uh, restored, and uh, they're going to be sold if you want. <laughs> we are lucky the color of yeah. the DMD is only three colors, red, yeah. green, and white. Yeah, we, we put the pin to the DMD LED, and the colorization was uh, perfect for us. <laughs> yeah. I Italian colors, too, so <laughs> even per even <laughs> even better, no? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, we can do it. was custom-made, but it was. Let's go forward. This is the the part that we Ivan said. said. Black chrome. Yeah. Gold, chrome, red, and uh, yeah. blue. Everything you need, we can do. So it's perfect. I like shiny stuff. <laughs> OK, so here was the, the first part of the assembly. So you can see the, 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 yeah, the flipper, the, the how is it called? The surface flipper, yeah. Really nice metal Airport. machine. Yes. Yeah, the, the, I the, don't the know the name of the it's USA brand. He make this yeah, the, the, the pins. Yeah, the flippers, the yeah. really nice. And here, yeah, we, we tried our, our also different types of rubber colors and to match it perfectly. So 
is uh, the first assembly, okay? From different perspectives. It looks so nice under the lights of shine, right? Every, it was really nice. It is still nice. <laughs> so, okay, we go this. This is forward. attaching on the rubber for the ring rubber for yeah. the clip. Yeah, we have a guy in Italy that does uh, rubbers, all the colors, all the... The Mifluon, we have... Even Mifluon. with glitters and everything. He's really good, yeah. Okay, here yeah, we tested different colors for the for the lanes. And this one we put uh, a uh, paper protector from perfect okay. protector in uh, Germany. You can do it, yeah. So protects a bit. We refined the stuff that originally was not good, like this uh, um, support from the lamp. It didn't look good. The original one was a bit ugly. This the bad. plastic is too new. Yeah, yeah we, we are gonna come there. Yeah. Here the bumper post, new, everything shiny. Every screw is perfect, so. Normally normally the, the bumper post is blue, the cap. Yeah. This is, you. We f I'm lucky, I found for the NBA br shock bracket, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's, it's red. difficult to find, yeah, because it wouldn't have looked good yeah. in a different color, <laughs> like blue, so yeah. We got lucky, we could find. So we opted for the uh, transparent lane with uh, color LEDs, here you can see all the ball guides, satin finish, perfect. Like I like it. Okay, uh, so rubber. We like that. Okay, okay. Well, now we come to the plastic because, of course, the plastic, original plastic, are color, and some were missing, some were broken. So uh, I did it uh, first. Uh, I shouldn't have done it at the first place, but the guy said it was too difficult. <laughs> So I said, okay, I do it. Never did something like this before, but uh, I tried. So we scanned the original plastic, high definition. And then we traced it, I traced it uh, with the computer. So I did it with two steps because I'm a, a mechanical designer. So I use SolidWorks. So I put the print uh, in, the, uh, in the software. I traced it with the, the computer with the software. And I recreated also the, uh, the broken missing parts, part. missing parts. Okay. So this is the, the 3D model, okay? Then from the 3D model, I imported it in Photoshop at the high DPIs. Not vector, but uh, because in vector, it takes a lot of time. But if you do a high DPI in Photoshop, it will be good. You can see it, it's perfect, okay? So this is the, the first layer, the gray layer, and then is the, the white layers. And uh, the fact that I started with plastic that were bad, I have to recreate m uh, a lot of stuff. So it was a, a long process. And then the, the black uh, outline of the thing. And then, yeah, the final outline where the cut should be. So the holes and everything. So it matches all together. These are all the, the plastic parts. So you can see in the left, the five that are transparent. So they have no, of course, no printing. The, uh, all the other one have printing too. A lot of work, yes, but it was it was fun because it didn't. I, I haven't done this first time, so I'm now an expert, sort of. So this uh, the plastic when they were uh, made, they were beautiful. I didn't expect it to be that good, but really, also the guy that does the cut, the printer was very very good. So, if you have a question, of course, yeah, no, no question, yeah. Because it's not black and white. I ah, had yeah, the new new one. Yeah, no, we didn't buy the new one. Uh, we cannot be impressed with the plastic, no, because so somewhere no 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 we can the plastic. No, no, difficult to some. The, yeah. the, the first I cannot found anywhere. The, the was uh, I tried USA, Europe, but there's some two plastic in the scar stiff. Yeah. Easy to broken yeah. and difficult to find. So found. that's what they say me. I say, Normally, okay, yeah, I'll do it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> my friend gave me the plastic and we reproduce for the standard one. Too. Yeah, yeah. So. But this was more challenging, so I had more fun. <laughs> more fun. <laughs> okay, this, this, uh, okay uh, on the um, upper side, there are also the two plastic that are yeah, on yeah. behind the trans light. They are also black and white, also a lot of work, and uh, but they turn out really good. There's also a small lock over there. Okay. So uh, I wanted to add uh, a little thing. We do normally mirror, mirror blades because it looks nice. It looks uh, wider, the pinball. Uh, and... Uh, I did it in my Twilight Zone, something different. I want to do also the back panel mirror, so it gives you depth. Really nice. Very deep. D deep, yeah, yeah. Depth, yeah. So I started to take the measurements, of course, of the original one, put it in my CAD files. And then uh, this is the the, the shape uh, of the, the of laser cut. And then we have uh, a guy that does laser cut for us. 
he's sixty uh, percent of the time good, <laughs> 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 but you have to to be there and say what you want because yeah, he's okay. So this there's all the this quality is not good for the picture, but you can see you will see that it gives you really a, a nice uh, touch. Okay, so this is a, a cool mod from a French French guy. Yeah, French guy. Yeah, it's technically two LCDs uh, in the eyes, and uh, they, they look really nice. You can change the color from yellow to red, and it's really cool. Yeah, uh, we tend not to put too many mods in the pinball machines because uh, we don't like we don't. It. it. It looks sometimes it looks a bit cheap. I don't know, and sometimes they they even fall out when you play. So non, we try to to do just the Little. The, the little things like this one and yes uh, on the ramp yeah the, r the ramps are new but of course the ramp decals uh, uh, we did new because we did uh, yeah, with black and white black and white yeah with these red and green accents uh, and the spine yeah we did this uh, we put it back and we put a uh, led strip that is controlled by it's by some switches, so it changes it's color. Like or I make it yeah. Job. yeah, we have uh, Chiri. Chiri yeah, Gabriele Chiri is awesome. He does light, uh, for the he does light controllers and everything. If you want, we can yeah, give you the, the, the yeah. contact. who is really, uh, really great, great person, too. So, yeah. If you need something, the next day he, <laughs> he does it. Yeah, yeah, yeah incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so also the frogs were black and white, green accent, green ass. Yeah, this is the, the ramp sticker, so... Nothing is left original this time. So this was uh, my where uh, yeah the work in this workshop. The clothing now is small yeah. place, but okay. Yeah, and a uh, lot of work, and of course everything in the <laughs> in the at the end, because you plan, you plan, you plan, but then during the uh, during when the it's like it one month, uh, you you have all together. And we have six pins because Robert said bring four pins this year, so we brought six pins, of course. And it was it was a lot, but he, Alex, Andrea did it. I did my part too, and this is yeah, full full of stuff, full of work, but nice. We we, we didn't have fair play, so we worked outside too. Luckily in Italy it's warm. It didn't rain too much this year. <laughs> Not like last year, okay. So this the lamp panel was of course sanded down, painted again, and of course the front part was done too because it was all color. So it was scanned, it was uh, redesigned, it was uh, ah of course on the back side there's the black because you don't want all the lights coming back, but just because technically it's insert and uh, like the play field, different style of insert. So we did this block. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. Spider too, painted like uh, it should. And this is the final result of the behind the back glass. Okay. Okay, here's a During the forward time. stage, yeah. So you can see a bit more stuff. Okay. Yeah. Try different colors. Green looked really nice, so we put green inside. Ah, uh, yeah, you can see yeah, the plastic uh, when we mounted them. Of course, the holes were almost perfect. Every <laughs> did a good job this time. Okay, so this is two. Okay, so you can see the inside. We, we we kept the inside colored because once uh, there's of course a lot of work if you want to do clear inside. You can find maybe not every clear inside. Yes. And then. Uh, why we didn't do a complete black and white, so uh, the colors of the insert are, are nice. Like yeah, like it gives the accent. You can see it; it's, it pops. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, display is an LED display. Uh, speakers are new with the speaker um, LED ring that Chirig does. Really nice. Okay, and that's the backless. The backless, uh, a guy uh, that we know. Uh, he's really, really talented. He did. Uh, we, we say just what what we wanted. Uh, he did perfect. So uh, Elvira is uh, in color, like in the Blood Kiss edition. The rest is black and white, and uh, some parts are also real mirror. Yes. Like the the sunglasses of the bat. The bat <laughs> are mirror. If you can look, it's really small, but it's a uh, really nice detail too. So all together, it's it's an amazing uh, yeah. amazing package, I think. Uh, here you can see the. It's also also a glitter 
the Tethys glitter color. It's really nice. Uh, here is the spider. And here is the... So is your friend, Bob, or Judith, oh, also? This is, I don't know how... This is yeah. uh, my friend. We're thinking last year because we want to make the sky blue. And so we started with the sky blue and the sky blue coming very well. And this year we're thinking red. For next time, uh, probably purple or different. Yeah. We like to work on the uh, Circus Voltaire. Yeah, yeah. We might so the, the process is, uh, it's nickel. Nickel plate. At first. And then there's a, a candy candy paint that is baked at it's high. It's like a clear clear coat yeah, it's, it's candy, mixed candy. with you, color. You, you can call it candy. Yeah. Currency? Ah, yeah, 500 lira. 500 no, lira is lira. It's the old lira. Because it's, this, uh, when, yeah. when is, now we have euro, yeah. but uh, during the times there is this machine. Is really yeah. I keep the original. Uh, yeah, it's a 500 <laughs> lira, yeah, it was. Can you cents or different? But this, yeah, it, it was yeah, cheap, sure, yeah. It's, now it's 25 bit, cents. Yeah. Now it's a uh, euro. Because this machine yeah. probably come from France. I don't know where it's in behind, yes. Yeah, in Italy, a lot of machine came to Italy yeah, at the end of their life, actually. So because our Italy, warehouse was full. Italy in the 90 uh, is after first USA, second is Italy. When my father started to rent the machine on 63, and we buy a lot of machine from France. Normally go to Germany, France, but we buy to Italy because Germany have the slot machine in Rotterdam, don't need the pinball. In Italy, we have mm. a lot of arcade on the sea because you, you have a, a country on the sea and mm. there's a huge quantity of example. I remember Daytona from Sega. It's probably Italy is the same quantity of all of the rest of you. <laughs> and this way, many, many from Europe, many people come to buy the in Italy very, very cheap the pinball. Mm. I remember I, we sell in 2,000, 100 people for 300 lira. 300 lira is 150 US dollar, 150 euro. Mm -hmm. and now it's disappear whole. And, and now we have a lot of sopranos turning <laughs> in Italy. <laughs> it's unbelievable. We have a lot of sopranos in everywhere, Italy. Everywhere, yeah. <laughs> he is almost rare. The pass is it's everywhere. Very cheap. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, Ivan is in the history like uh, forever. Like yeah. uh, He's in the family. I started my pinball passion in 2019, so it's pretty fresh. But uh, it's very good guy, very. Uh, I try. Yeah, uh, I went to the Budapest Pinball Museum. I, I was like it's three hours. I, my girlfriend had to to, to <laughs> pull me out because I was hooked again. Because I remember when I was little, I was uh, playing a road show. Pinball was new. It was speaking uh, heads. It was awesome. So when I got back, I, I searched for a pinball machine. I didn't know you can buy a pinball machine, so I went online. So that 10 miles from us, it was uh, one uh, one guy was selling it. It was him. <laughs> <laughs> so I went there, I looked at the at the machine. It was perfect. It, it, it wasn't restored. It was uh, a little bit restored. The yeah, a little bit restored, but the, the, the fish. Normally the fish in the like uh, yeah, it was original clean. Original condition. Was original condition. It was beautiful. So I bought it for him, and then uh, we got friend became friends with Andrea and everyone. We have a good team now, yeah, so yes. it's always fun to, to do stuff together. And uh, next project is make and, uh, room uh, on uh, the play feed. Yeah, I don't know how can we. Which I, I learn a lot. Uh, they learn a lot <laughs> from me because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really precise. So uh, his uh, restoration every year becomes Going up. better because I'm always like, mm, this could be better. This could be better. Uh, but I think that's yeah, the normal yeah, process, yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, I created some small uh, how to artisan, how could you say? Uh, uh, small worker. Yeah. He can do everything. Yeah, some in Italy it's... Some parts yeah. broken, can make yeah. me new. The lane can yeah. make me new. Yeah, it's awesome because we have a lot of guys in Italy that uh, s small, uh, they, they do all the stuff. wonderful job. Relatively right? cheap too, so yeah. it's... Wonderful uh, job. Yeah. Be, if you if you need something you can find it just outside your house so it's it's awesome okay so here you can see the the red chrome it's beautiful really this is okay. and here there's the complete behind machine behind you saw the Elvira yeah yeah of course that's funny because yeah behind there's the Elvira that was the inspiration for this project so yeah uh, this was a, a last time because we do it's also the um, yeah we do also the screen printing of the heads because I, I made the, the screen printing. So we, we perfect like this and the pattern too on the back. So it like the original. And we, 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 we were packing here and we did that at the last this time. This is my bowling center. Yeah. I use, it's closing down in the he summer. Has a bowling alley, yeah. And we had the space there to pack because we did 
three very large wooden pallets yeah. to protect them uh, from damage and stuff. So, and this is the best picture because we're all together outside <laughs> eating pizza and drinking <laughs> beer after uh, a, a, a long day of work in the summer heat because we, we don't. Yeah, no, no Italian, Italian pizza, <laughs> the good one, okay. uh, but German beer, so <laughs> it's uh, it's a good mix, I think. <laughs> and yeah, it was really hot, and we don't use air conditioning that much in Italy, so we use big fans, but we keep us cool. So yeah, that's all for now. <laughs> so Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You can see you now. The, 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 the machine.